Hi everyone. So one way that I've been learning to use LMMS for music production is to try to copy sounds that I've heard in songs that I really like. And one sound that really stuck out to me was the piano from AJR's song Bang, and it sounds like this. And here I've already copied it, but I'm going to show you step by step how I did that little bend effect and how I tried my best to copy that sound from the song. So if I go to start a new project, over here on the left you can go to My Samples, and this is one of the default samples that comes with LMMS when you download it. Under Instruments, you'll find Piano 1, and it sounds like that. I'm going to click and drop it onto my song editor. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust my tempo to roughly match the song. It's about 150 beats per minute. The next thing I'm going to do is to figure out the notes. And to do this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this to my keyboard. Once I think I have the notes right, with roughly the right timings, I'm going to go ahead and try and refine the sound. The first thing that's really noticeable in this track is the little pitch bend that's added on this note. If you go to this button, pitch bend, you can click on that. Then I'm going to click on my note that I want to add the bend to, and it's going to open up the detuning. If you move this around, what you'll be able to see is you can see, once you start adding notes here, you can see how much that note is going to detune. Right now it looks like we're a little zoomed out, so I can zoom in a little bit more. And I want to make sure this quantization is at a low enough level that I can click and choose notes uh, very close to each other. If I click and drag this, I can make the bend sound. Sort of the way it does in the song. And what you'll notice is that the end of each of those piano notes, there's a sort of clicking sound. Where the instrument cuts off abruptly. To fix that, what you can do is click on where it says piano, click on your sample, bring this up, and navigate over to this envelope tab. And if you turn on the envelope, you can adjust the way the sound fades away. By default, it's going to sound like this. What you can do from here is adjust the features of the envelope. What you really want to mess with to get rid of that click are the sustain and release. Sustain shows you how quickly it fades away, and release is this longer tail. And you can just kind of mess with these settings a little bit to get it to where you want. I'm going to make these notes a little bit more staccato, so I'm going to change the duration. And you can change these envelope settings until you get it to where you want. That's obviously not the exact sound. This has been pitch shifted an octave up. Okay, I hope this helps. Uh, please leave a comment below and subscribe if this has helped you in any way. Thanks.